For the first time, scientists have witnessed the dying moments of a solar system that may once have been similar to our own. Okay, it's actually more exciting than depressing. Scientists spotted pieces of an asteroid or rocky planet circling a white dwarf star. That's the final stage in the life cycle of our star, like our own sun. The object has fallen so close to the star and it's now being shredded by the star's gravity. The dire event was spotted using NASA's Kepler telescope as part of its planet hunting mission. It looks for planets by observing them as they pass in front of their stars. The passing planet will block part of the star's light and create a dip in the brightness. Kepler has discovered hundreds of planets this way, but back in 2013, one of the wheels used to point the telescope stopped working, so Kepler can only monitor a small field of view. This particular white dwarf star caught the researchers' eyes, though, because it was being dimmed a whopping 40% each time something passed in front of it, something they had never seen before. The researchers then used ground-based telescopes to piece together a more detailed view of the object passing in front of the star. They found it was about the size of a dwarf planet, was in at least six pieces, and had a tail like a comet, suggesting that it was in the process of being shredded by the star's gravity as it fell closer and closer. So for the first time, researchers were able to see a 10-year-old theory about how white dwarf systems evolve directly confirmed in the night sky. Dust from the object is already falling onto the surface of the star. Incredibly, the team was able to analyze the chemical signatures of that dust and found it was mostly silicon, iron, magnesium, and oxygen, further proof that the orbiting object was once very similar to the rocky planets in our own solar system, including Earth. Scientists had previously seen hints of these elements in other stars and speculated that they came from planets that were in the process of being consumed, but they never actually saw the source until now. 570 light years from Earth. Now, there's still a lot of questions. Scientists don't know how long this feeding process takes, years or thousands of years, so they plan to keep observing the star to see if they can start to figure that out. And as you might have guessed, this is all very relevant information. One day, our own star will run out of hydrogen and helium fuel and cool and expand into a red giant. At that point, it'll probably consume Earth, but Mars may survive until the red giant shrinks down into a white dwarf and then may end up in a very similar situation to the one we're witnessing right now. But don't worry, that's not for at least another 5 billion years. And now you're Science Smart. If you've got a science question, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.